Aloha, welcome to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. We are back for our fourth episode. Hopefully you caught the last one. We time traveled back to 1960 in Las Vegas at the, I mean, really swinging Aku Aku at the Stardust Hotel. Tonight we're gonna do a modern tiki drink. The reason that I'm doing this one is because this list is actually the list from the Total Tiki app. That was created by cocktail genius Jeff Beach Bum Berry. He was into all of this before any of us were into any of this. So I've never said it before, but please go download his app I've learned so much from that app, and I am not a professional bartender, but I've been to like 54, I did, I counted, 54 tiki bars in my life. My band, the Hula Girls, have been playing tiki music for about 11 years now, 11 or 12, something like that. And I've been making tiki drinks for about 15 plus years. This is never supposed to be me teaching you how to make tiki drinks. This is more like I'm following Jeff's instructions and we're doing this together because um, sometimes it helps to have somebody go along with you, you know what I mean? Though I'm not a professional bartender by day, I've made a lot of cocktails. And really the reason why I wanted to go along and, and do this whole list is because I wanted to be forced into drinking the stuff that I would never try. Buying the ingredients that I just go, like why do I need this or why do I need that? Uh, it'll probably cost me a fortune, but um, you know, it's in the name of science. So anyway, download the Total Tiki app. You will not regret it. Buy all of Jeff's books, Beach Bum Berry's books. Look, I even have the grog log down here. It's all uh, road worn and weary. But that's how much I used it. Because before, before cell phones were really going, and before apps were a thing, you'd flip through these pages. You'd go through and, and make these drinks. And I made a ton of these back, back well, when was this? back in 1998. And that's before we any of us knew anything about rum or anything like that. Like, So, certainly credit where credit is due. Buy all of Beach Bum Berry's books. The greatest reference material right by your bar. If you don't do that, at least get the app. The app changed my life as far as tiki cocktail creation goes. So with that, we're gonna make one of Beach Bum Berry's cocktails. Beach Bum Berry also owns a tiki bar in New Orleans called Latitude 29, so please go and visit that. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So let's get into the drink. The cocktail we're making tonight is the Ancient Mariner from 1994, back when he was having tiki parties with Otto von Stroheim and Sven Kirsten and all of the people who came before the modern resurgence of tiki bars. Those people mean so much to me, and not as close friends, because we aren't really close friends. I'm, I'm buddies with, with all those guys. But because they really paved the way for everything that we know now in Tiki. We were all on Tiki Central at the beginning together, and we all learned together, and so here we are now. The fourth cocktail on the list, the Ancient Mariner. The ingredients of the Ancient Mariner are lime, grapefruit, I already sliced it in half, my own simple syrup, allspice, demerara rum, and a dark Jamaican rum, Appleton Estate, 12 year. So I always do the fruit first because fruit is cheaper than rum, so if you screw up, you just gotta find another lime, you know what I mean? We need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and that's three quarters right there. Half an ounce of white grapefruit juice, so we're gonna be squeezing it. Whoop, and we got some seeds in there, so be sure to fish out all the seeds before you go putting that in somebody's cocktail. Half ounce of white grapefruit. Half an ounce of simple syrup, and simple syrup is just one part water to one part sugar. Actually, I do two parts sugar to one part water. Quarter ounce of allspice. And I always get bummed when you see quarter ounce because, God, I love the smell of this stuff. It's like sweet, but cinnamon, clove, and like nutmeg. It's so good. Every time I think of Allspice Dram, I think of Don the Beachcomber cocktails. He loved, loved this stuff. Quarter ounce. And how rad is this bottle? One ounce of the Demerara rum. Mmm, very sweet smelling. And one ounce of the dark Jamaican Appleton 12 year. Ooh. Getting down there. Now for this cocktail, Beach Bum Berry tells us that 
he wants us to shake it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some ice cubes that I previously froze from filtered water. We're gonna put that into the vintage ice crusher. That way we can shake with that. And with that, we'll grab some ice. And shake. You want to shake until that tin is frosted over. Pour into cocktail glass. And then top off with more ice. Garnish with a lime slice. And some mint. I don't know why my mint's so droopy. I got it from the store earlier. But I like to use a lot of mint because there's something about getting a wimpy piece of mint in your drink that it just feels like they're not really trying. Do you know what I mean? And put that in there. Now, I found this from my collection. He doesn't specify this, but this is so rare these days. This is a vintage cocktail lantern that we will sit right here and a few straws. How's that look? There it is, the Ancient Mariner. Cheers. That tastes like a Don the Beachcomber drink. You can taste the lime, but the lime mixes nicely with the grapefruit. And then that allspice with the Demerara rum mixed with the Jamaican rum. Man, that is a, that's a delicious cocktail. So be sure to follow Beach Bum Berry. Go visit Latitude 29 in New Orleans. Buy the Total Tiki app. You will thank me, I promise you, and cheers to our journey going through the list. We cross off the Ancient Mariner. So please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me at Spike's Cocktail Tiki Hour. We will see you next week. Aloha.